Hey guys, so Pit from so Pitpapenta.com live from Bedford, UK. Tonight, I want to share you, share with you five methods to spice your love and marriage up, okay? <laughs> Who want to know? Who want to know? Very short, okay? I want to go and fly it up, okay? Hey, 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 pinpoint. <laughs> Lovely, lovely. Please click like, click share. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. I have a guarantee my marriage for 28 years now. Yep. Guarantee result. Number one, I just go in. Yeah, right in, right in. Just hop on, hop on. Never force your partner to do anything. Never force your partner to do anything. Okay. If you force partner to to have sex with you is rape okay <laughs> never force them to do anything ask them first <laughs> ask their permission right not only that because of my my marriage is intermarriage okay we have different belief different um, background speak different language okay so we never force anybody to do anything they don't want okay that is key thing yep key Key, 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 key. <laughs> All right. We we agree to disagree. Yep. And they have opinion. We listen to their opinion. It's fine. Yep. Wow. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Please click like, click share. We'll be wonderful. Krishna Whale, thank you so much for click like, click share. I love you. I love you. Okay. And um, number two, sleep in a separate bedroom. <laughs> I feel very naughty when I visit my husband's bedroom. Okay, I feel really, really naughty. That is spicy up. Okay, because you're not in your in, in the face of each other. You have to go and search them. Okay, you have to find them. <laughs> it it's exciting when you when you share your partner or something like that. <laughs> Normally, in the first year of my marriage, I sleep in the same bed with my husband king side all right but because i'm pregnant and i keep have a cramp coming on my leg okay and i i get up and then i have to wake him up as well and then he have to help me to release the pain on my on my leg and then i decide oh this is not a, not not gonna work because you have to go to work right in the morning so i start sleep in separate bedroom yeah Separate bedroom give us the space, personal space of each other. Just in case, I want to do, um, I, I normally, I work at night, okay, and I want to read books so I not disturb my partner. He can sleep and I can read the book. I can do video live like this. <laughs> All right. Or the worst scenario, just in case I want to make a, a, a air pollution so it's not too loud and frighten him off or wake him up and thing like that all right so number two sleep in separate bedroom will spice up your your love life okay and never find fault in each other and other you know why because if you gossip about your neighbor it it bring it bring unhappiness into the house okay you only praise somebody who do the good thing, all right? Don't gossip, don't fight for, oh, I don't like your part of your body. No, never say that, okay? Accept it. I'm so grateful with my husband, okay? He just handsome the way he is. <laughs> keep telling him, <laughs> keep telling him, or keep telling her. My husband always said, yes, darling. He always said, yes, darling. This is uh, super important, okay? When your partner said, is that la, 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 la? You just said, yes, darling. <laughs> okay? So to be the right person or get love, you have to choose. Okay? If you are a right person, if you write all the time, your partner might not love you as much. Okay? So be... Be, be 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 the person who get love than be the winner okay it no win in the battle with the loved one okay <laughs> even your daughter husband son you let them win okay because you love them 
basically. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four. Drinking alcohol or take intoxication can be a problem in the long term. Just in case you are alcoholic or you are a drug addicted person, can be a problem. All right. You know what to do. I just let you decide yourself. Okay. And number five, ask question that you understand your partner more. For example, uh, at dinner table, sometimes we said, "Oh, if 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 we know that in the next year we're not gonna live anymore, yeah, someday people are gonna have to depart somehow." We just said, "What you will tell your loved one, the thing that you never tell before." I'm sure your partner will smile cheek to cheek, and then you're gonna share this secret intimacy. Yeah, what you never tell them, and he might said, "Oh, I, I love you." Yeah, you are. Oh, I'm so sentimental. I don't want to say it. When I say it, I'm gonna cry. All right, guys. I hope you get five fun tricks how to keep your love and marriage alive. Okay, use your ima imagination. All right, and spice it up. Get along. Yeah, just make them happy. They have a full stomach. They have a full happiness in the ear and the eye. All right. And I wish you guys happy, happy, and love each other more. All right. For more information, great video like this. Please connect with me. Uh, visit the YouTube channel, so Peter Hunter, or go to um, Success with Sophie. Sometime I have a gift for you. No need for money. All right. A gift for you, for people who my fan page. Okay, thank you, Pimpoy. Thank you, Courtney, Di, Di, Dana, Frederick, Chris, Chrisana, Well, Dirapon, Norma, Superpon. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye bye. Until tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.